Rocket League semifinals, Flipside Tactics, and Orange Supersonic Stars, or I guess just known as SS Stars these days, in the blue. Let us see. I have not watched Supersonic oh, play in a while. And Marky! All right, Marky. That was fast. Coming out the gate early. Little setup off the corner here by Kooks here. Centered ball comes in, gets a quick shot, breaks through both defenders, and an early goal right out of the bat. Ah, Marky with the freaking back and forth. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, you really got to remember to switch back to ball cam or something after. Uh, after yeah. Episode. Can't stay there on, uh, on Marky Duda. He's, uh, he loves to flip back and forth like that. But yeah, yeah good start here for Flipside Tactics. So Supersonic Star is going to see how they want to play this off. Godlike Killer number seven and Sikizem. Sikizem, of course, formerly from Swarm. I think this is the first game I've cast four stars since Sikizem's been on the team. So I'm very interested to see how this plays out. Yeah, I mean, it looks like uh, the pretty typical strategy we see from Flipside, just all-out aggression, full force, three guys forward, and then uh, when they're on the defensive, three guys back. So... We'll see if that works out for him here. I mean, Stars is a great team, and they're keeping up the pressure as of right now. Siki Sim's got an opportunity here, but Marcus yeah. Taylor turned it away. Yeah, not enough mustard on that shot. Got to put a little more heat on the ball if you want to actually get it past the defense of Flipside. But I will say, you know, the showing out of... I mean, this is a, a, a supersonic team, though. When they had Stocky, you know, had put a lot more... Had threatened Flipside before, you know. Yeah. This is these two teams met in the finals a couple cups ago, went all the way to a game seven, uh, which ultimately Flipside would win. That was just before the August final, and then after at the August final, they actually got three owed by Flipside. Excuse me, by Flipside in the first round. So, right. interesting to see. Right now, though, pretty balanced stuff. Though Flipside is so hard to read, you know. Yep. I mean, we're seeing a lot of play over on the uh, supersonic side of the pitch. So, obviously, you have flip side applying a lot of pressure. They're getting some good clears when they're on defense. So, it, it looks all flip side right now. Speaking Ooh. of which, Kooks here comes in nicely to get a second goal for the team. You can see the nice setup off the wall there, and Kooks here comes right in, puts it in down low into the corner. Puts yeah, his team up 2-0. That's just typical flip side right there. That is solid play, really fast aggressiveness, and uh, Cooks here able to handle that one and put it in the back of the net. Now the play continues. A little bit of uh, play off the wall there. And, and flip side just getting a lot of chances here, and that's something that Supersonic Stars is going to have to... Uh, take back you know they can't keep letting these chances get by they're gonna have to start putting some offensive pressure on themselves because if they don't and they can't get some good clears to get past flip side then they're just gonna constantly get punished with goals yeah you know I, I talk about it a lot where what flip side does is with that strategy they play the the overly aggressive strategy it is easily well no it's not easily punished but when it's punished, it's easy to get past. Like, there's nobody back to stop it when it does get broken. The problem is, is that by the time you get one or two goals on flip side, they've already got four or five on you. So, you have to shut it down early and get really good clears. That's the only way to turn aside this super aggressive strategy. Oh, and I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it yet, at least. Rules. This aerial, it blows my mind how he changes directions looks like three times during the course of that aerial just ridiculous yeah Mike rules has some incredible control not just with the ball but in midair oh good little pinch sets the ball up for supersonic I keep calling him that I don't know if, I don't know if I should keep calling him that or just SS well maybe not SS that name isn't exactly <laughs> kind of We'll just call them stars. So just call them stars how, how about, for short. How about supersonic? That's fine. I don't, I'm, I'm sure Either SS still stars or, super, or, or stars. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just go that route. That way they're, they're it's the all stars good. stars of Rocket League, right? There we go. <laughs> they have been looking a lot better lately. You know, they, they had a bit of a downswing when the teams changed up. Um, but they are looking really good here. 
Uh, just, you know, flip side is looking a little bit better. They're having a hard time breaking that offensive wall. Yeah, I think what Stars needs to do here is they need to, instead of applying pressure like we normally see, we know that Flipside has the ability to get the clears that they need and apply the pressure when needed. So I think maybe what a good plan here for Stars is to try to the 2-1 uh, the uh, offense-defense sort of thing and maybe leave Siki Sam back more in the goal, playing a little bit more defensive, and then hope that uh, Godlike and Killer can actually do something on the uh, offensive side of the pitch here. Yes, and then right now, I mean, it's pretty comfortably in the hands of flip side now. Looks like they are going to take this game one. So hopefully, I mean, one goal here would be really nice for Supersonic just to start a little bit of a momentum ride that they can hopefully yeah. take further into this series. Um, but... Don't know if they're going to get it here. No, it's going to fact wow. be another goal for Flipside. Yeah, Cooks I here. mean, you can see the plan coming out of Flipside here. You know, Cooks here puts it middle, but Marky knows he's got three people to beat, so he just puts it right back to Cooks here, and Cooks here's able to put that one in for the uh, zero-second goal. Yeah, they are incredibly smart, you know, and, and, and they know how to play the ball and know how to position themselves really nicely. So, oh, no, exit, what am I doing? I'm ready. Fun fact. Uh, looks like uh, Mike actually left. He didn't know that he was supposed to uh, remain in this match, I guess. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it looks like he joined up back in again. Yeah, no worries. Plenty of time to rejoin because we're going to go back to the uh, you know little lobby screen while we sit there and wait. So, all good. Yeah, I, I think what, uh, what Supersonic needs to do here is... They really need to focus on slowing the game down. Obviously, Flipside is very, very good at the full-out aggression. If they can take a page out of Swarm's book and maybe give the ball a little bit of time on the ground, they might be able to put a couple in on Flipside and more than that, just prevent them from scoring endlessly with these ridiculous aerials. I mean, we saw with that zero-second goal, if you give Cooks here the ball on the wall and he's able to set up anybody mid, that time it was uh, Marky, I believe, they're going to put it in the goal. And you can't let that happen. So if, if I'm supersonic here, I say to my team, guys, relax, keep it on the ground if possible. We don't want to have these crazy aerial goals because they're just harder to stop. No, exactly, and, and that's a very big ask to try to keep flip side on the ground. Oh, absolutely, I understand, and, you know, the <laughs> clears that they need are really hard clears, and those typically have to go up in the air, um, but if they can somehow slow this game down a little bit and take flip side out of their comfort zone, then they can do something here. Absolutely, and right now they're looking pretty good in keeping the ball in the orange zone. Um, you've got Killer and, and Godlight up front now trying to get something converted, Having a bit of a hard time, but at least it's, you know, it was, it was remaining in the zone for a while. And, and that's a pretty good sign. Oh, but a big close shot there for Mike Rolls. There's Marky. Wow. Follows it up. Just too good. Really. Man, that was that was some ridiculous play. You get the pinch and then Cooks here again with this coordination that Flipside has. <laughs> he decides to pass it instead of putting it on goal, which turned out to be the right move. Yeah, exactly. So despite all of those good offensive chances, for SS Stars, they uh, fell a little bit short in actually getting a goal, and Flipside really just sort of gets one in pretty quickly, pretty easily, all yeah. things considered. It's true, and again, we see Flipside really controlling the momentum of this game. They they know exactly what they want to do. Uh, Supersonic is trying to get clears if they can, but, you know, Cooks here and Marky just up front trying to dominate everything, and Mike, with the clears like that, I mean... How can you do anything against this flip side team? Yeah, even when you finally get it past them, it's so hard to just keep it going. <laughs> and you can see it right now, you know. Supersonic Stars having a very difficult time getting anything past. Nice gentle touch there. Does get punished, though. Oh, but Mike Rules was hanging back. Usually he's up front. That could have been a goal, but fortunately for them, here we go. Oh, and Whoa. Marky Duda. Outstanding save to keep this alive. Wow, nice touch there, and Siki Sim actually gets a demolition. We haven't even talked about that yet. What if SS decides to take it and turn this game into a demolition fest the same way Swarm has been today? 
that might be a decent strategy to uh, throw Flipside off their game. Maybe so. I don't know if that's an approach that they want to take. I mean, they haven't demonstrated any of it so far. But if Swarm's watching this, they know it's worked against a few other really good teams. So it's probably worth trying, at least, against Flipside. You know, you've got games to try out strategies on, mainly game one. And oh there's Kooks. Oh, goodness. Oh, jeez. If this isn't a highlight reel play, I don't know what is. Look, Look at, at this the... play from Cooks here. Sets it up high off the wall, keeps the boost going, doesn't even touch the ground, and dunks in his own rebound. Jeez. That is like all-star game slam dunk contest type highlight reel material right there. Yeah, that was just, that was ridiculous. I don't, I don't know how people play this game like that. Wow. <laughs> That, that might be one of the best plays of this tournament so far. Just incredible control by Kooks here. My God, I mean, that guy. <laughs> yeah, really, wow. But like I, I said before, I mean, if if Supersonic wants to do anything against this Flipside team, they have to prevent things like that from happening. And if the ball's on the wall and Kooks has got possession, there's nothing you can do. So try your best, keep the ball in the middle of the pitch, on the ground. I know it's a, it's a big task, but... <laughs> If they can do that, they might be able to manage yeah. something against this Flipside team. It's a nearly impossible task sometimes, to be honest. I, I agree with you. Against uh, the way that they're playing right now, Flipside looks like they're not letting anything go. Oh, and there's Kooks coming in off a great setup by Marky. We'll watch this. Marky plays it up high off the wall here. Sets it up towards center. Here comes Kooks here. Gets a great touch. Flipside just looking outstanding. Yeah. In here. Honestly, I think the, uh, the the pressure of this flip side team is too much for Supersonic right now. Yeah, I mean, still a very good showing for them, even making it through to the semifinals here. And there's Marky tries to ride it in on the ground, showing that, yeah, even if you want to keep it on the ground, we're still just as dangerous. And there's Kooks. Gets another one. Kooks here is just too good. That's a big lapse from Godlight. He puts it middle and is not able to play his own pass. Really unfortunate there for, uh, for Supersonic. Yeah, you really got to be careful with those clears. If you, center, if you center a shot and set it up for flip side, then, yeah, they're going to take it. And they're going to definitely punish you with it. And so far, all we're seeing is flip side just run rough shot. Up there, oh. Killer finally gets his team up on the board. With a nice goal, picks it up from up high. It's played off the corner here by Sikizem, and there's Killer to get the finish. Very yeah. nice offensive play to finally get his team up and uh, hopefully start the process of closing this gap, maybe build some momentum going into game three. Yeah, that was a really, really nice setup there from Sikizem. He was able to control the ball on the wall and put it near the goal, and that's really what he needed to do. Yeah, at this point, uh, leaving the gate wide open, fortunately it goes to the corner. But they got to be careful here. Marky Duda plays it just a little too high. Kooks tries to follow up, but doesn't quite get it. And Supersonic is going to send it back the other way. This is just yeah. tricky trying to see who's going to take advantage of this chance here. I mean, Stars needs to do something here to keep this momentum going and, and try to prevent the sweep, really. I think that's the big takeaway right now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, with that goal, they know they can score, right? So that's the big momentum shift. If they can continue uh -oh. this pressure even into the next game, that's something that really needs to happen. Otherwise, Flipside is just going to keep doing what they're doing, and they're just going to win this uh, this matchup. So yeah. I think Stars has a chance here. It's just a matter of making sure that those plays they're making actually go in. Just a huge offensive mistake, though. Just a few moments ago, a nice clear shot. Oh, speaking of which, wow. there's Killer gets his second goal of the night. Helped close that gap. It probably won't be enough for running a little low on time in this game. But I yeah, will but say. That's, that's a great example of how you punish this this super offensive team, right? It's an easy goal if there's, or an easy save rather, if there's somebody in goal. But the way that Flipside plays, they don't like to have somebody in goal. So if, uh, if Stars can somehow manage to capitalize on chances like that, we might be seeing more of a game four or even game five. Yeah, and that's going to all come down to how they play this next game. You know, they're down now in must-win situation turf. They have to turn it around now. 
you know, they have to finally uh, start bringing that same kind of play in on this next game. Because if they don't do it now, it's going to be too little too late, and they're going to be out of the tournament. Exactly. Or at the very least, they're going to be playing in the third place match like they were last week. So. It does look like we may get a third place rematch, assuming this series goes as we expect it to, Shizu and uh, Supersonic. Now, we don't cast the third place games, but if you want to keep up with who wins that, just, uh, you know, check out the old bracket. And Mike Ooh. rules. Somebody in chat just asked, is Mike Rule's connection okay? Uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so, uh, based on that Th previous play right there. Yeah, I would, I would think it is. Marky, don't, don't, don't say things like that. <laughs> in chat. Oh my god. <laughs> just, just play the game, Marky. <laughs> play the game. <sighs> you know, Flipside's a team that likes to have fun, and I'm a huge proponent of that. As far as this game goes, it is just that. This is a game. We're trying to enjoy ourselves as much as possible. Obviously, there's lots of strategy and really high tensions do occur, but, you know, you got to have fun with this. You got to have fun. Oh, yeah. And, well, Mike just hanging out. Maybe he's going to... Ooh. I don't know what's going on with Mike right now. We're going to switch to another view, though, so we can see if... Supersonic Stars can actually get a goal here and Siki Zem wow. with a brilliant cup bit of juggling there. Take a look at that. Oh, okay. Guys. All right. They skipped the replay. You think they know by now? <laughs> yeah. What? Well, anyway, that was an amazing juggle there from uh, Siki Zem. He was able to just juke around Mike. And, you know, it, it looked like Mike was maybe having some problems over there. Um, yeah. He but... may have been just waiting for the boost, too. I, I did, you know. In retrospect, that does make sense, but, you know, they were on the offense, so he kind of could afford it to just hang back and wait, Yeah. but even so. But now we are looking at a tie game, so Supersonic Stars looking a lot better here, trying to make yeah. some things happen. And honestly, the clears coming out of Flipside are a little lackluster as far as the last couple minutes are going. Um, I think they, uh, they might be a little bit slighted by that goal, but they should be able to pull it around here. I agree. Good clear up. Here comes Kooks here. Floats above the oh. defender, but it goes just too high. But there's Marky. You see that play all the time. Let's go to Kooks here. Watch him. Takes to the sky. Gets the first shot on goal. There's Marky to finish up with the big shot in the net. Dang it, Marky. Yeah, and honestly, <laughs> the way that uh, Kooks here plays, I'm a little surprised that one didn't go in. But at the same time, flip side, they have the coordination that Marky was there. He was ready for that uh, rebound if necessary. Yeah, no, exactly. And yeah, Pluto commenting in uh, the chat that yeah, the muscle memory kind of takes over the thought of maybe I shouldn't skip these replays. And I know I just give him shit anyway because I can. <laughs> I, 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 I'm the the problem is not with the players not remembering to not skip replays. The problem is that I should also be a factor on that. But speaking oh. of which, Mike rules coming out strong. Yeah, Mike just. He hits this one so well, so perfectly, in order to uh, put it straight on goal where nobody on Supersonic is able to get to it. Yep, so far everything looking very nice for Flipside. But they're not out of the woods yet. However, Supersonic Stars has to start turning it around now. I think if they don't score before the minute mark, then they're probably not going to take this game. And that's assuming that the scoreline stays as it is. Obviously, if... Uh, flip side really cranks it up again then uh yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah yeah it looks like they were just kind of baiting it out trying to see who was going to bite on that ball first Ooh. there we go that's what i was talking about they needed that goal you know i was gonna say the way that stars is playing right now they got the ball all the way over on the orange side of the pitch all they gotta do is put it in and they did so i think they yep. still have a chance in this game There's still two minutes to go plenty of time yeah, sometimes easier said than done, and good shot by killer number seven to help close this gap up a little bit and keep SS Stars in the match. But two minutes to go. Now they're looking for that big equalizer, and in doing so, they got to prevent Flipside 
from rolling it all the way back into their goal. And there's a nice opportunity. It was slow, but at least it was on the right direction. So, Siki yeah. Zem, though, had to make a big stop to keep that long-distance shot out of the net. Now looking for an opening. Yeah, I think if uh, Stars get some more long-distance opportunities, then maybe the, they can tie this game up. Uh, it's something that Flipside is not really playing against all that often, but it looks like they've changed their strategy slightly to have Mike hang back a little bit more to prevent any of those long-distance goals. Yeah, they're, I think they're just changing their approach up ever so slightly, but there's a great shot on goal. But it does not go in. They've got to get the big finish. Final minute of play, looking for that equalizer. If they don't get that, they are done here. It's a must-win situation for SS Stars. Oh, really good opportunity Speaking of here. which, oh, oh. both players whiff on it. Gets cleared out by Mike Rules. And here comes Flipside yet again. Nice center there by Kuxer. Little too far, though. So Marky wasn't able to come in and make a finish on it. Mike, though, gets the aerial stop, but there's Sikizem. Big defensive play. Does manage oh. to clear it out. Marky was in a great spot to respond. But, oh, what an amazing stop by Sikizem. Yeah, two really nice saves in a row there from Siki Zem. And again, oh saves the ball from going in. They're really doing a great job of preventing more than a one-goal gap here. And they, they are fighting tooth and nail. But they've got, I mean, you know, they can play defense all they want, but if the offensive opportunities are just coming back and forth or, or on and on for flip side, they're not going to get a shot on goal. And right now they need a goal. <laughs> you know, yeah, they, they can't keep playing defense. They're not trying to save a win. They're trying to save their career life. Or their, their tournament position right now and we're in zero second time so it's all down to that and there you have it i thought they were going to try and carry it on a little bit but they couldn't quite do it so flip side tactics will take this series 3-0 to move on to the finals against swarm